Back on our show this Monday, it's great to have Ryan Garrett with us. He's a CLETA consultant and Tanya Mason, the Works Program Manager at St. Mary's. They're here to talk about their uh, growing program, or her growing program over right. at St. Mary's. So welcome. Good to have you. Thank Good to see you again, Ryan. CLETA consultant, Ryan, you wanted to make a quick little announcement before we started visiting with Tanya, Ryan. Yeah, and so uh, we had Chip and Kristen from CK Farms on last month as yeah. part of our sort of Meet Your Farmer initiative. And that's really part of the Central Louisiana Local Foods Initiative, mm -hmm. uh, which is really just a part of our effort over at CLETA to promote local farmers to promote local food and Chip and Kristen were a part of that you know they sold pork and beef made locally in Pineville right. Louisiana and now Tanya at the St. Mary's Residential Training School is very much a part of that as yeah, well. Yeah we try to get involved by featuring a local farmer once a yeah. month and this month we're going to focus on St. Mary's. Glad to be here. Tell us a bit about your garden at St. Mary's Tanya. Okay well the garden program was set up to involve our residents and mm -hmm. try to promote and teach work skills so that they had um, an opportunity to um, participate in, you know, something bigger, some, right. something that would develop some vocational opportunities for them. And so we focused on our garden and greenhouses. And Looking at some of the pictures that Ryan sent us, pretty Im Im impressive setup you have over there. It's growing. It's, it's growing. growing. Yeah. <laughs> Last year was uh, was the beginning, and we had a, a huge learning curve, mm -hmm. and we've done really well this year. So. So yeah, I have to say, Mark, these greenhouse pictures. That one that you just saw, that greenhouse, I would say, like a year ago, right? Tanya right. was pretty much just being used for storage. I mean, there was wow. nothing there. So a little over, a little over a year ago. It's so. amazing how it's uh, developed in a year. Yeah. What yep. you've done with that? I've got some really good guys, and we've got some hardworking clients. So, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> How did you get involved? Uh, well, I actually was a teacher uh -huh. for the parish, and I just needed a change. Right. So, say, I had applied at St. Mary's, and they called and offered me the position. It seemed super interesting, and so I moved. I and, went, and here you are. And here I am. Yeah. yeah. In charge of the program. Yeah. What do y'all grow? What's we grow vegetable starter plants mm -hmm. and some flowers for now. We try to focus um, on seasonal plants and then we're also trying to experiment with some perennial plants. So right now we have uh, probably five or six varieties of tomatoes that we're growing. Squash, cucumbers, mm -hmm. um, peppers, right. you know, things that we think that uh, local gardeners would, would want to put in their home gardens. Um. I think it's important to showcase, uh, Mark, that the clients do get very involved with the growing program right. at St. Mary's, which is really one of the best parts about it. Yeah. You've, uh, uh, you also sell a lot of your, your uh, plants at the uh, Tuesday market, right? We do. Alexandria Farmers we Market. We do. This time of year we sell starter plants at the Farmers Market on Jackson Street, and we're hoping within the next month to six weeks we'll have fresh mm. produce. That's exciting. Yeah. Did you ever dream that it would become what it's become now? Uh, well, I had a goal, uh -huh. but I didn't think that it would happen this soon. Yeah. So. The greenhouse, that's, that ta has it taken a lot of work? Yes. A lot of help? Yes. It takes a lot of work. Um, <laughs> there's also a, a lot of exper experimentation uh -huh. and learning. You know, <laughs> what works and what, what doesn't works work. And, yes, right. What yeah. works and what doesn't work. And then we you know, would like to do organic, but because we're not certain of, of what took place before, we're mm -hmm. you know, kind of having to adjust a little bit. What do you see for the future of this growing program? Um, we're hoping just with just knowledge, like that mm -hmm. the public becomes aware that we're out there and that they'll continue to support our efforts and then our, our residents will continue to thrive in that setting. What did you think, Ryan, when you went out there to visit? I, I was really blown away. I mean, to be honest, I had heard that the program was really new. And mm -hmm. so when we pulled up uh, to really check things out from Cleta's perspective, right. I was, ex you know, I thought I'd walk into the greenhouse, I'd see a few plates of plants, and then that would be pretty much it. <laughs> and we saw this full swing operation. I mean, these people yeah. were very much ready to go. They knew what they were doing. They'd obviously done their homework. And I mean, from our perspective, that's such an exciting thing. And so this Tuesday at the Alexandria Farmers Market, when we're having the spring planting market, uh, Tiny and them are going to be extra careful to bring some of their best transplants, some of their best seedlings. It's going to be one of the last times they're actually going to be selling. That okay, is true. So. We have, we're going to be at the Alexandria Farmers <laughs> Market on Tuesday, and then we have an in-house plant sale on Thursday, <laughs> beginning at 6.30 in the morning. Okay, 6.30 this Thursday, 6 right? 6.30 this Thursday, March 31st, and it'll be in conjunction with our yard sale. And let's check out the Alexandria Farmers Market tomorrow. Right. On Tuesday, because after yeah, that, all these, all these transplants and seedlings turn to vegetables after that. Yep. So if you yeah. want to plant them yourself, now's the time. Ron, thanks for coming. Tanya, nice to meet you. Thank you. Congratulations nice you. on well, the garden you. at St. Mary's. Thank you. Thank you. More to come. Amy Robertson will join us in just a second, but first, our community calendar.